Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to configure 5M server. So we're gonna go through the eggs and uh, server setup. So first of all, you gonna do is go wherever you install the server for at, and we go to files wherever like the server resources is at, and you're gonna open the config. So in the config here, we have a couple of things to talk about. We go start with the set server request parna. Uh, it, this is for removing the web admin, and web admin is basically when you go to whatever server, uh, for example, like localhost, or to any of the server is not on. If we go to the localhost uh, actual IP, and you do like for example server server.js a thing will pop up including the, like server details and all of course you don't like that they can see players to like get the players list etc so we're gonna remove that uh, next we don't need this we don't actually need this but if you want if you want to change the TCP and UDP that you're gonna configure them in your in your router or uh, your uh, Windows firewall, uh, you can change these to whatever you want. The uh, ports and the IP. Um, max clients. This is actually how many players, the maximum of players you can have uh, in your server. Uh, it's it's limited. So uh, for normal people, you can have I think up to forty eight. 48 slots but it doesn't contain the patreon patreon uh, will give you uh, these to give you like the sfx or re element cup or argumentum or whatever you call it it's gonna give you 64 slots with one thing you can use uh, custom clothing and you can use the uh, like the colors on your server list was gonna pop up on the server list. Uh, there's others. Uh, it's pretty much uh, the same thing, just more more slots. If here up to UK slots, which is good. For us, we're gonna have five because if you set it under five, you will have access to. So, uh, here you can see all server keys. You can free keys include all functionality. If your server is set to 10 slots or less so i said if i just for test but you can if you can even put like 9 10 or whatever you want it will work so this is team Web api uh it doesn't actually matter if you're not like too advanced in your 5m server this script hook uh script hook allowed this is like not a great prevention but this can work to prevent any like script hook visa uh, running uh, in your 5M server so people cannot actually use any script hooks. We go with the tags. Tags is the thing is gonna pop up and like tagging your 5M server. Here we go on the 5M server list. Uh, tags are these the VRP, Brazilian VR, VRP, 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 EX, RP, VRP, these, all of these is the are the text so whatever you put here for example i don't know like rp 5m and tutorial you have to separate them by comma for them to appear uh independent now we go to the host name the host name is actually the server the name of the server over here uh this is the server of the name name like server name uh, that's gonna pop up on server list, so whatever you put here, you can use technically you can use one, for example, five. So here we go. These are the color codes you can use. I choose five for light blue, which because I like light blue. Uh, and you now right next to it, you type whatever you want. For example, we're gonna go five um, uh, space. Let's go tutorial like this this doesn't matter it's just gonna pop up when you click on the server 
for example you click on this join and it's gonna say an error or whatever it says it's gonna pop up on the side connection refused by host name for example and this is the project name that's uh, uh you can call it wherever you want uh but without the without the colors so 5m tutorial tutorial yep uh project description is a description that's gonna be on the server like this for example samwl uh let's go filter it by english okay so here we go for example 100 percent rewriting custom unique this is a server description wherever you want here let's just call it tutorial server oh, okay. server now the local so local is our language you're gonna set the server as and it's gonna be on the server list uh, you can so people can sort it quickly for example you can use english U, uh, us or this is just an example no post examples right here I'll put this here this is French Canadian Netherlands Deutsch I guess in English yeah it's Great Britain it's not UK this is should be Portuguese Brazil again yeah no this is sort of a logo uh, it's uh, it has to be in PNG and with the uh, 96 by 96 ratio so way to add this logo to png in here you gotta like make a get, get a an image and put it here that and call it wherever you want just you have to put the, the config whatever the name and uh, it's preferably png yeah so next we got on the server of course game build this is if you want include dlcs this is it uh we have here the enforce game build uh you choose from these this is like the uh, the marketing name which is like the dlc name 260 los angeles summer special okay breaker los angeles tuners contract and the criminal enterprise okay, so you have to keep these as you see right here like the resource resource manager uh this is like default resources don't touch them if you want to add resources we go like this i don't know like main resources so you're wondering what is admin vehicles why is it between brackets and all so if you go to the, your server files you will see here uh the resources is the main thing where every resource is going to be at so we have already sfx so what you're gonna do is create a new folder and call it uh, admin between the brackets uh, new folder call it uh, vehicles and make a new folder call it scripts so here we go we have these folders you don't care about this have admin scripts and vehicles so this is the way of making stuff easier so uh what other people are gonna show you is to make for example ensure uh, let's say ensure uh, i don't know look sort uh vehicle control etc lvc ensure i don't know like easy admin etc so if you don't want to do that if you want to directly like put the whatever resource you want then you're gonna start by itself you gotta ensure the whole folder you just have brackets so if you do like this it will count it as a resource it doesn't count it as uh, a group so this we're gonna group resources here so for example admin you gotta add like for example easy admin here scripts you're gonna get scripts here vehicles you gotta add the vehicles here you can add vehicles here wherever you want you just to organize stuff for us for the next videos uh, that's gonna be it for the server configuration part uh, i hope you enjoy this video and understood more how to, how to configure your server uh your fx server so
if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. I will happily take them in consideration and goodbye.